All right, so here we are in front of a weird looking statue. For some reason, I'm getting a really bad vibe from this. I don't know why. I just am. All right, well, anyways, we need to go ahead and pick up the bedroom key. According to Yetta, it's right in front of us, but oh, yeah, no surprise. We got a battle, and Link can already sense it. Bam, that armor has been taken down. It was the other one that we were actually staring at. So, yeah, here is a armored knight with a ball and chain. As weird as a weapon as that is, it's it's pretty scary. I mean, look at the way he's swinging it around. I'm terrified right now. So, yeah, this guy could be pretty straightforward. I mean, I guess it depends on how you see it. That was the worst hook shot I've ever done, but that was the worst throw he's ever done. So you know what? I'm fine. We're we're even, dude. We are 100% even on that. Uh, <laughs> that's actually hilarious. So yeah, there are many ways you can take him on. You can try to hook shot from one side to another. I like to just try to avoid his attack. And if I could do that, it'd be awesome. So, I mean, usually my thing is just to kind of like stay close to him. That's always going to mess up his attack to where he like slightly throws it not so far away so let's see come on go ahead and do it don't be shy man don't be shy <laughs> oh okay now he just literally hit me you know what screw this let's just go ahead and hook shot from one side to another i remember this being pretty straightforward i don't know why he's taking there we go okay now i went ahead and avoided it let's go for his tail because that's his weak point uh there we go and can i attack it again oh i can now we're done now we cannot attack it anymore because yeah it's uh the battle's back on uh, normally you can kill him in like one or two hits, but I don't know. I'm just having a really hard time. It's going to wait for him to try to chuck it or not. Are you not? Takes him a little too long. All right, there we go. And let's end it off with one nice attack. Oh, another one. There we go. We did it. Jeez, that was longer than I expected, but overall not that bad because I do have soup that I can easily drink to replenish my HP. So I'm not going to worry about wasting too much HP on an enemy and another one bites the dust yeah it's been a while since i did that the game had to have link do it in a cutscene for me to see the animation because it's been so long but um i for some reason i can just never trigger it with enemies i had a lot of you guys give me tips on how to do it because you guys want me to do that stinking catchphrase but um you know we'll see if i can but all right so the ball and chain yeah it, it's funny because like, I was mentioning how you can't pick up weapons from enemies. You know, they just vanish completely. They become literally dust. Uh, but for some reason, this item in particular, he dropped it. I mean, obviously, it was kind of obvious. You know, yeah, it was obviously obvious. That makes a lot of sense. Um, anyways. <laughs> but no, it was obvious because he was using the ball and chain. Um, and I don't know, just the way they kind of showed it. And Link literally is going to do the exact same thing he does. Uh, the way you just go ahead and spin it, and bam! You can just break giant chunks of ice. You can break anything. You know what? If you want to break uh, the armor of the guy we just took on, go ahead and help yourself. If you want to... That's pretty much it, actually. You can just break things. That's pretty much all this is useful for. Or killing enemies in, like, a hit, and getting an orange rupee from it, which is stinking awesome. But let's go ahead and pick up the chest. Yetta assigned us to pick up, and... Okay, it's Ordon Goat Cheese. <laughs> Why is it printed with a weird mark? That's kind of weird. I mean, would I want to eat it like that? It's, I mean, it looks nice. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. So once again, yeah, uh, food again. Yeah, I have a bad feeling about this. She didn't seem very sure of herself. So yeah, I mean, I guess in reality, she's just really out of it because she's sick and the mirror has you know, caused all of this to her. So she, she doesn't remember exactly where it is. My theory is she just wants a nice meal and she's fetching us to get all of this food that for some reason is not in the kitchen and it is all around the ruins. It, yeah, it's it's an interesting concept, but once again these guys respawn. God dang, I don't yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna peace out real quickly. So let's see, this should be the shortcut to where yeah, she is, because this is what she opened up beforehand. So if you try to speak to her with the food in hand, what happened? What, cheese? Uh, did you move? Oh, did husband move it? Okay, I guess he did. So yeah, now she's going to tell us, sorry, I need thinking time. Take cheese to husband, because, you know, she doesn't want to sign you with another chore when you still have uh, whatever item you got at first uh, on you. So let's just go ahead and actually, yeah, let's just go and give it to him. Let's just see what he has to say. Or We're not really going to give it to him. He's going to pull it out of us needs a more punch what what good smell what you have 
does cheese really give off that good of a smell? I feel like cheese doesn't really give off a nice scent at all, but perfect ingredient. And he just dips it. I mean, what what is this, man? You're yeah, you are a chef, my boy. Look at this chef. Look at that chef hat. He's looking all swag with his bubbly. What? I mean, this. I guess it looks kind of like a cheesy soup now. And he's still thinking. He's just staring at it. All right, let's go ahead and pull out our good soup, drink it up, and then try his cheesy soup as well. So it looks like Link enjoyed that one. Let's go ahead and dip into this. This is such a huge pot when you think about it. Yeah, so now we got superb soup. It is quite cheesy. Nice. <laughs> I just realized, wait, is this the fish? Oh, this is the fish he caught. So he threw the head in, but that's it. What? That's kind of weird. I mean, I feel like that's the one part you don't want to eat when it comes to fish. But, I mean, who am I? I'm, I'm no chef. I mean, obviously, Chef Yeto knows what's going on. He's the true chef in town. All right. <laughs> now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and quickly hit this. Um... Thing. I don't know why I'm like, Ugh! like this is gonna be something really difficult to do, even though I'm just clicking this thinking bunny, but bunny. Wow, that button. <laughs> but yeah. Um. So here's another block puzzle we're gonna have to do, and this one's actually pretty straightforward if you do ask me. So what makes it difficult is the fact that you might not think that you need to undo this door. Now the door is closed again, but don't worry, there will be the switch and that switch will be pressed in by the end of this uh, s s block puzzle solving thing that I'm going to try to do. So, um, yeah. Uh, so essentially what I'm gonna go ahead and try to do is I went ahead and pushed that one up here and now what I want to do is push this one, the new block we just have, have access to now because, uh, you know, all thanks to uh, the ball and chain that somehow removed the ice that was all around that block. I, I don't know how it did. I, I guess it was just a thin layer of ice surrounding it and we needed the ball and chain to shatter it. But regardless, just go ahead and push this. I don't like the fact that you have to push it on ice and just generally walk on ice. I mean, it makes sense why you're pushing on ice because it slides. I wonder if this will work. Okay, this is easier at least. I mean, it's, it's quicker and to the point, I guess. Not really, actually. You still can't move during the process. But there we go. So we got that one centered. And we're just going to go ahead and re... Uh, like, put this one back in its place where it originally was. So, yeah. You just got to go ahead and rinse, repeat what we've been doing. It's pretty much the whole thing is pushing it around like this. Having it stop on this block. And then either pushing it up or down. So, yeah. Such a straightforward and easy puzzle if you ask me. But... Um, it doesn't really matter because now we have opened that door, but what's it going to do for us? I mean, you got to think about it. It did literally nothing. Now let's go ahead and speak to yet. I just want to get that puzzle done with. So when I do come to it later on, it's done. That and I kind of forgot what I was doing. I completely, honestly, I completely sidetracked. I forgot I even had to speak to Yetta. For a second, I was panicking in my head being like, wait, what do I have to do next? Did I really forget? But no, I didn't. All right, let's go ahead and speak to her. So I think I remember... We, uh, I guess I forgot like Yeto when you think about it. I need some thinking time by doing that puzzle. But yeah, so how embarrassing. Let's just go ahead and see where else. So in this area. All right. Hopefully this is it. Uh, m you know, this is the last door she opened up. So, it, you know, it, it could be obvious. I mean, I'm just going to spoil it now. This is going to be the key itself, finally. So let's make it to it. All right. So this room. It's an interesting room. You know, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, scale quite a bit uh, in this pathway here that has these enemies again. Luckily, I can easily kill them with the ball and chain now. We don't have to worry about using a um, cannon and a cannonball. But yeah, just go ahead and hit it once, twice, and just... Yeah, there you go. Have it come back towards you like this. I mean, I don't have to kill these guys. I just want to because I'm so OCD about it. I just want every enemy killed at least once like i said that's just my thing every time i play a zelda game i have to kill every enemy one time uh throughout the game even if they respawn i don't really care that's just my mentality because then i feel like i did it but yeah okay so these guys are killed as well um up here there's going to be a cannonball or a, a cannon itself no cannonball we need it to get a cannonball and to get it is all the way down there because i believe there's one of those weird door mechanisms that will take you outside, but I'll do that later. Um, I want to just continue on because we have a lot to cover right now. 
And I guess the first course of action is to uh, to make our way to this room over here. But here, if I go ahead, all right, here's a locked door. Ignore that though. If I go ahead and um, I guess open up the map and then look underneath me, right underneath me, you're gonna see a chest and also two more chests. Interesting, but. Yeah, it's just literally right underneath me that chest and I want to get that specific chest as well as the other two So to do so and I'm actually curious if this will work. I'm not too sure. I haven't tried it Oh, it does. Okay. Yeah, use the ball and chain or you can use bomb arrows to break this wall Because if you couldn't tell the tiles were completely cracked and remember that chest we showed off right in the beginning of uh, The ruins. Yeah, this is it So now we can actually pick it up and it will give us a heart piece. And I believe this is our first heart piece uh of the temple so there should be one more left and funny enough we're going to get it pretty much like right now so and we're gonna get the last or second to last postal as well as I, I'm assuming the last stamp so we're gonna be covering a lot really quickly actually not right now never mind I'm wrong but we're close to it to say the least really close um, I believe we need to first enter uh, that room that was locked and to do so I mean you might figure out, or it might be obvious, that this is going to give us what we need. And this is going to be a small key that will open up that door. So, yeah, I guess this room in particular is just to introduce you to this whole mechanic. Uh, where you use your ball and chain to hit this weird chandelier slash platform. And have it kind of swing you from one area to another. And also, you could have hookshotted back if you, you know, did that. Yeah. Like I would say hookshotted. I don't even think that's... Yeah, I, I don't even care. I, I I don't. I have a key though, and I'm happy with this key because now I can open up a door, and it's this one. I love the locks in this temple as well. Like the whole temple is still a temple. It's just they redesigned it to make it look like a livable area, you know, for yetis. And by uh, opening up this hookshot spot, we can now have a shortcut from the beginning of the temple to the second floor up here, which is pretty nice because. Um, I was just saying that I want to pick up a uh, Poe, and if we go ahead and open up our map, you can actually see, I mean, you can see green dots currently on the map, but if you open up the map for real, if you have the compass, you know, you'll be able to see the, um, the chests, and the chests are located inside these, uh, or behind these suits of armor. And yeah, they're just like weird cracked walls with chests in them, and guess what, we got the Hylian Letter O, that is the second stamp, so not bad. But there is also something else I can get. You can see the chest from underneath the dude. Or I guess, not really a person, but underneath the armor. Or behind the armor, rather. And 10 rupees. So there's also another one here. Go ahead and break this one. And then you should find... Oh, okay, I'm doing so bad at this. There you go. should find a Poe, yeah! Maybe its soul still resided in the armor, though that doesn't make sense because in reality these Poe fragments are meant to be, or the soul fragments are meant to be Giovanni's, so yeah. Let's go ahead and just pick this one up. Ugh, yeah. So aggressive, but I love when Link does that. So there we go. Alright. Now it's going to transform back to normal. And uh, I guess that does that with everything down here. I'm going to go ahead and head back up and continue on with the temple. I just wanted to get all of that covered. Funny enough, though, we're going to go ahead and pick up another uh, collectible right up ahead. And that's going to be the second piece of heart of the temple. It's also in this room, which is pretty nice. This room holds a lot of pretty valuable stuff. Um, you just can't get it all at once. Wow, that actually worked. Okay, I actually want to snipe both of these guys. I don't care if I'm using bomb arrows on them. Uh, I'd be more accurate with it. Or is it? Oh, yeah, it's dead. Okay. Nice. The reason why I did that is because I want to do this in, like, one go. I would really like to do it in a go because, you know, if it took me more than once, it would get upsetting. <laughs> okay. So the reason uh, I killed those enemies is because they can easily knock you off of the chandelier. And um, I highly suggest... No? Okay. Bam. All right. Now we're both... No, come on. All right, they're both put, put, pushed back, and once they both come together, I can make the jump. So yeah, you know, kind of want to have it timed, where you constantly hit it with the ball and chain until uh, when it goes out, your chandelier goes back, and then when it comes in, your chandelier comes in as well, and then that way you can easily get it. And that ended up getting us a piece of heart, so yeah, that wasn't bad at all. Now let's go ahead and, uh, go ahead and do this again, and continue on. 
So yeah, that was all done. This room had a lot of collectibles when you think about it. Like we just got a bunch of chests, but I'm glad we have that all done with now. So let me just wait this out. And there we go. I was really I was really afraid I wasn't actually gonna make it. And that would have sucked. Because yeah, I don't really like doing that stuff. I I, mean, I don't enjoy that puzzle in particular. This room is really nice because it's well lit and you have ice on the floor. I mean, I don't like the fact that we have to walk on the icy floor, but I do like the fact that it reflects the sky and Link and everything. And it looks so cool. And I don't know. I just, I just really like the way it came out, like this room in particular. And here, funny enough, is you know, the other puzzle. I don't know if it's funny, though. I realize I say that a lot. Funny enough. I feel like I didn't shatter the glass for anyone, but now that I shattered it for myself... I'm going to try to improve on that. That's why I noticed I do a lot uh, when I tend to do that. But hey, guess what? Another Poe for the soul. I forgot to say that again. Uh, my bad. <laughs> I don't know why I'm apologizing when in reality no one really gives a crap. But okay, let's see. Nothing in here actually besides the Poe. The Poe kind of like showed itself without us really looking for it. It just went past the ice and it was just like, hey, come kill me, please. But. In this room is where we solve that puzzle, and uh, since I already solved it and I opened up the door on the second floor, which is this one, we're good. And also I created a shortcut here by having this block uh, fall, so that way we can come up here if I decide to jump down. So the whole point is to hit this block, solve the puzzle, come back up, and then head inside the door. But I, I did the puzzle way earlier, but I don't think it really matters. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so in this room though... This is not a room at all, actually, I just realized. But we gotta fight these dudes, okay. I'm just gonna fight one with my sword and really show off how this works. You gotta break their spear, and once you do, you can actually kill them immediately. So, yeah, it gets... Oh, God. Okay, well, I can't really see what's happening when they're going to chuck spears. Ah, jump! Okay, avoided that one. And there you go, now we killed them all. But, yeah, they're annoying, because... If there are more than one, they're just going to constantly chuck spears at different times and you're going to keep getting hit. And it adds up, at least in my opinion. But I believe, is this where I wanted to head to? Okay, yeah, this is good. I believe this were Okay, it's a hookshot spot, which is not bad, just in case, you know, something happens, which uh, I don't know what will, but let's be careful here. Because here's the thing, when you do fall, you're always going to fall to a previous room. And I mean, that's not a good thing. This is, and this room is where we first got the pumpkin way early on in the, uh, the temple when we first started. That was like the first ingredient to ghetto soup. And I don't want to do that again. But here we got a small key. And I guess you could just hook shot back if you want to. Uh, that would be the smart thing. Or you can head inside this room, which is going to take us back here. So that's the thing. But I'm not going to do that actually. I'm just going to go ahead and head back. I mean, either way, they both lead you to the same area. I'm just too lazy to do this, so let's just go ahead and do it like this. I wonder if this will actually reach. It will reach. I mean, they wouldn't, they wouldn't put it there if it didn't reach, right? Okay, I was going to say, wow, I, am I really that off? Like, I was going to it would have had to reach. It did not look like it was that far away, but regardless, back here is not where I wanted to go. Okay, no wonder they had that. I'm so dumb. What made me backtrack into this room? I don't know. Either way, I wanted to head back outside, but I wasn't thinking of the giant wall that blocked my way. That was a really dumb moment. <laughs> I hate when that happens. Sometimes I just go on autopilot, and I'm not really thinking of what I'm doing. I'm just like, all right, let's just do this. Uh, but I don't remember what even happened a couple seconds ago, so I'm just trying to get to my next destination without really thinking. But this is the way you're supposed to do it. I mean, that's why the game added this door here. Uh, so you can, you know, get access to this area once again. And now we can just quickly head up and uh, get this done with. Um, it's crazy. I'm sitting in my room and I'm boiling. Yet yeah, the environment here is so cold. And it's not helping out. Like, I thought maybe, you know, if I see an environment all cool, like, um, you know, it kind of gives me that vibe. But it doesn't. I mean, I, don't, I guess that's like, that's not really a thing that happens to people. And actually something I just remembered is I want to head over here, right? This is... Where I need to go, in reality. So jump down like this, run past these dudes, and uh, head up here, right? I think this is what I was trying to do. I don't really even... I don't... What am I... No, this is not what I was trying to do. I'm way off.
Okay, well, might as well open up this shortcut here. I mean, whatever. That's not really going to do much. I realize I don't even need to use the door because I can do this, which is also awesome. Uh, and I, I guess since we do have the ball and chain, we'll just use it to open up all of these shortcuts around us by hitting everything like this. Uh, also, something I really want to pick up that should be in the center of this, right? I'm, I'm pretty sure there's something all the way over here. Yeah, there is. Okay, let's go ahead and grab it quickly. Because somehow I didn't... Somehow I have yet to pick up this chest. I thought I did. Wow, I completely forgot about this chest. Yeah. That's why I went all the way out of my way to get it, guys. For stinking five bombs. Was it worth it? Heck yeah. <laughs> Alright, now... Uh, what am I doing? Let's just go ahead and head back to Yeto and Yetta's place. Because... What I'm trying to do is head over here and this is where i need to go all right this is the room that i was looking for i'm pretty sure yes okay i am not lost guys i am not <laughs> all right so what i'm going to try to do is just grab one of the cannonballs and take it over and this is also like a little shortcut that will allow you to get the cannonballs because this is where we first got uh where we first picked up the very first one and uh, I left two in here. You only need to leave one in here. And even if you didn't, you can easily transfer them back. Because usually the cannonballs stay where they were last left. Unless you change floors. I'm not too sure. I don't feel like they stay exactly where you leave them. Because that's why I didn't want to uh, transfer this one into this room. Because I had a feeling it would have respawned back at the original point. But I don't know, actually. I guess it really depends. Either way, we're taking this cannonball all the way up here just for the heck of it. Since I have the small key, I want to make my way back to the room where I got the postal. Uh, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and test this out and see if the cannonball does wait for you. Uh, because I'm purposely leaving it by here because we're going to need it for something later on. But now we have finally backtracked to not this room. It's the, it should be the room after it, right? Yeah, okay. Should be the room after. Let's just go ahead and get rid of this guy right now. Uh, perfect. I'm wasting so many bombs and arrows, but it is worth it. Actually, I, I bet I have a lot of arrows still on me. I think it's just bo the bombs that are low, because they combine the ammo and just show it as one instead of showing both separately, which, I mean, makes sense, because once the bomb arrows are gone, then it's useless as an item. It's no longer bomb arrows. It just becomes arrows, so. Yeah, let's use a small key on uh, this door. Ignore all the enemies, ignore everything, because we already fought them before, you know. I feel good about it already. And here is the other side of that room that had the spiral uh, walkway. What What is Link doing? Can I just kind of hit it forward? Okay, I'm going to end up hurting myself if I stay here too long. Uh, okay, perfect. No! I hate... I hate when that happens, it just annoys me because I'm stuck for a long time. Not really, it's really like a millisecond, what am I complaining about? Okay, I'm going to hit this and hit that as well, look at that. I actually love that you can easily knock these blocks like that. But now let's see, did the cannonball say, oh it did, nice. I guess because I didn't actually change floors. But I have a feeling if you do change floors it might, ch I don't know, I, m I might be speaking too soon. Maybe. Maybe the game is really that good when it comes to memorizing the placement of balls. And this one in particular, it did a pretty fine job with. I mean, it was waiting for us. And the only way to get it up to the other side is by placing a bomb inside of it. Because uh, Link will not be able to toss it over those platforms. And we're going to need this for just one more area. We're, we're essentially, like, done with this temple when you look at it. Like... All we have left is the boss key, which I guess is the bedroom key for Yeto and Yetta. And that's where we're going to get the Mirror of Twilight, or a part of the Mirror of Twilight. So, yeah, so far so good. I'm assuming this is going to take us literally outside, though, where, yeah, this final area is. So, let's just get this done with by hitting this. Uh, so, now we can hook shot here. And also, I want to grab the cannonball because there's going to be a cannon in the center where I can kill off this enemy. This enemy was would have been blocking a stairway. I haven't really showed it off. There is a lot of times I don't really show off how I like solve specific puzzles because I've played this game so many times that it's like almost second nature for me to do this. Like I don't actually think of what I'm doing. I'm just doing it. Um, it's sort of like autopilot. But I mean, I guess if you're following along, it doesn't really matter. I don't really have to explain. Oh, you gotta kill this guy to head up the stairs. But you actually do gotta kill this guy to head up the stairs or the ladder. My bad. 
Uh, and now we're gonna go ahead and do literally just that by making our way there. So yeah, I completely ignored that side, which was this ladder, because I knew I would not be able to head up here until the very end of the temple, because you would have got a nice, strong, uh, yeah, a nice strong wave of ice, of icy wind. Oh god, okay, well, this is a thing. Hopefully they all end up falling down and shattering. I don't know though, they're not going to. I'm gonna have to just be- Are you kidding me? So in reality, I can't actually head up here because the game is gonna deny it. This is not- Okay, there we go. It's gonna be like, that's pretty much the same problem that we had beforehand. But this time, when it's destroyed. Either way, let's finally get the bedroom key. It's up ahead and yeah, this time, we're gonna have to go through a little- I mean, I guess every time we have to fight off enemies, but- this one is a little more difficult than the other ones because to make it more difficult is not to give an enemy that you know is strategically hard to defeat it's just to throw more enemies at least that's the dark souls 2 way of doing things and i guess that's what zelda did as well they took a page out of that book because now we're just gonna fight an endless amount of these dudes but you can kill them immediately because they take a while to spawn their uh their spear thingy their whatever thing they use to attack so if I can break it and then just constantly spin attack, I'm going to do it. I'm going to fight these guys the way I guess the game intended you to because uh, why the heck not? I mean, might as well show it off. So yeah, we're just going to go ahead and go into this epic battle of epic... Okay, this is... I, yeah, I cornered myself. This is what happens when you fight a lot at once. But I think I'll be able to, to do well if I can keep spamming spin attacks and whatnot. There we go. This is actually kind of fun. I mean, in reality, you you see all of these cool attacks Link's doing, but I'm just I'm just spamming B, you know? I'm just I'm pretty much hitting B. <laughs> There's really nothing else to this. All right, we did it. Another one bites nothing because I can never trigger that. I guess I shouldn't move, though. I've heard you should let go of all buttons. That's what someone said, and then immediately hit A. But then why would they have that, like, taunt be in the game if it's so hard to, like, execute? I don't know. I just, I don't get that, but... We got the bedroom key, this will gain us access to the bedroom, uh, and the mirror shard. Alright, so Hugh, we finally found the key. That sure took a while, but that mirror shard is as good as ours, for sure. I mean, they offered it to us, so hopefully it's still there. So yeah, pretty much all that's left is heading straight to it, and conveniently, it's just right up ahead. Like, we don't even have to do anything else, there's no more... Uh, traversing this temple. We're done completely. So, oh, you safe, huh? I drink husband's soup, feel much better. So, I come find you. You found key, yeah? Huh? Good, good. Bedroom right above us. I take you there. Alright, let's go ahead and do that. And, I mean, don't have her take you there because she's going to take forever. Literally forever. Look at, I mean, come on. <laughs> she is so slow. But it's fine because you can easily uh, just. Just head up and open the bedroom yourself, and then she will be there. But if you want to be patient, you can. Anyways, that will do it for the temple itself. All that's left is the boss and picking up the mirror, or the piece of the mirror of Twilight. So, yeah, she's taking too long. I'm just going to open up the door and get ready to do this. So, yeah. Uh, I believe she will, she will lead us in, though, because it is her bedroom. You know, might as well be polite about it and let her in first. So, um, take your time. Please? Okay. Thank you. You can't you come inside. Alright. <clears throat> we will. Next time.